In this video, we're going to talk about calendars because we're approaching the silly season, uh, Christmas and New Year, and we know that a lot of you are uh, using our papers to make calendars. So we thought we'd make a, a video just to show you in rough terms how it works and what are the possibilities that we have. So you can use quite a variety of papers on our site. Uh, the 210 gram double sided makes a, a great product for that. Um, if you're going to make a single sided calendar, and I'll show you in a minute, uh, we, can, uh, we can use the, uh, uh, the 260 gram glossy or the 280 even. We've got a satin double sided uh, pearl to 90 gram, amazing for calendars because you can print um, a photograph on both ends and, and get really nice images that will be also long lasting and the double sided gloss. So whatever your preference is, using your inkjet uh, printer at home, you can create various finishes and various effects and it works really, really simply. I'll show you how. So what I've done here is um, I'm just using Word for Windows and it's actually ready to print so I'll, I'll send a sheet to print but all uh, I'm using is Word for Windows and we've arranged uh, various uh, pictures in various positions to uh, create calendars. You can have them uh, in, in various uh, uh, formats and I'll show you in a minute but all I'm showing here is that I'm using a really basic uh, software, nothing special, nothing, uh, something that you probably already have uh, on your computer at home. So once we've printed all our sheets, and we're only gonna going to do use three or four uh, to save time but once you have all your sheets remember we've got two formats this is one of them um, you collate them you create put them into uh, some sort of an order obviously by month and you will end up with a calendar that flips over like this we're going to bind them in a minute so um, i'll show you how how they all connect together so this is one format where you have the picture and the uh, calendar itself the dates underneath um, you can write on this uh, with pencil or with pen or with a felt tip, uh, whatever you have, it's no problem at all. The other format we're going to show you is this, and this is a landscape, this is going to be a landscape calendar, and the landscape calendar flips over like this, so you're going to have a picture and you can arrange them in any way you want, and the calendar big underneath. So again, uh, you can write on this, you can write on this side if you want, and you can carry on flipping. Obviously we have the months wrong, but this is just for illustration of uh, the possibilities of making calendars with uh, your inkjet printer and uh, various products on our range, all printable on inkjet. Okay, so we know, we realize that most of you won't have, will not have a binding machine like this at home, but first of all, this was £30 at, um, at Viking or any other uh, high street uh, stationery supplier. So you might want to get one if you're going to do enough. So £30 for one of these. Um, these are about £5 for 100 So quite a low outlay. But if you don't have a machine like that, any high street printer will be able to to, to bind it for you for not a lot of money uh, and these are really simple it's, it's a one machine that does all you punch your uh, papers and at the top here we have a we have a little uh, contraption that And there, one calendar ready made. So this will hang somewhere. Visible will, so you'll hang it kind of from there, it'll hang like this. And for a whole month, you'll be able to see the pictures and, and use the calendar. The other format works slightly differently. So remember, these are the, uh, the portrait 
images. I think I can punch them all. Oh my god, in fact, I won't. So I'll play it safe. This is a really low cost machine, so you can only do a few at a time. Uh, if you have one in the office, you might be able to use it. But the same principle. Take your cones. We don't sell the binding machines, by the way, so don't look for them on the site. But they are available in most high street printers and most similar establishments. Uh, this foam is obviously too big, but there's a solution for that as well. Just cut it. So here it is, uh, hanging calendar. So these will you'll flip over the whole way, and they'll just hang like this. And the portrait calendar and hanging with that puncher hole at the top, put a string through it, and it's done. So you'll find all the papers which are suitable for use with calendars, such as the 290 gram satin double-sided, such as the 260 glossy, uh, the 210 matte double-sided or the 180 double gloss and others on the website under the calendar category. Just go on to photopaperdirect.com. It's quite easy to find and you can use any of these to make your own personal calendars on your own inkjet printer at home you're choosing your own images, your own ideas, and your own creativity. Happy New Year.